Hi there. We're going to talk about how to send a campaign in Navigate, an appointment campaign in Navigate. Uh, so first, you're going to log into Navigate at avila.campus.eav.com, and you're going to use your same credentials that you use for my AU Canvas and Outlook. So when you log into Navigate, you're going to see your staff homepage, um, where you're, you'll see a list of your assigned students there. Um, so the campaign icon is uh, where that green arrow was pointed. It looks like a um, like a bullhorn, someone making an announcement, that kind of icon um, right there. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to the campaigns page. And um, all of these different options might not show up, but we are going to focus on the appointment campaigns. And then um, these are the campaigns that um, I've run in the past and I have one that's currently going. Uh, so a nice thing about this is that you can see the stats right there. So the percentage of appointments made, the percentage of reports that you've created. So appointment summaries and, and notes that you've put in after your meetings and then the attendance rate uh, because some students will set up a meeting and then no show. Um, so that attendance rate is also a nice um, indicator there of how successful your campaign is going. Um, so over on the right hand side where it says actions, you want to create a new appointment campaign. So that is going to take us to the screen. Um, this is basically defining what the campaign is and what it's for. Um, so you're really the only one that's able to see this. You don't have to name it something that's uh, super formal or um, I don't know. You don't have to add a lot of details here because this is only for you to see. So the campaign name, um, well, it's for you and the students, the name itself. Um, so you just want to make sure it's not like I don't know, students that aren't cool. I don't know, whatever you want to put there. So name the campaign. You add in the care unit, which is the area of campus that you work in. You add in the location that you're going to be hosting these meetings. And then you add in the service. So the thing about campaigns is that you can only choose one service. Students aren't able to go in and, and change um, what type of meeting they're setting up. You only are giving them one option. And then you can choose the date to begin and end your campaign. I would say give students at least a couple weeks, um, depending on what it is that you're, you're having them meet with you for. The appointment limit is how many um, appointments a student can set up within the same campaign. So if you want to talk to a student multiple times, um, let's say three times within this time period, then you would put three. Um, if not, you just want them to do, be one and done, then you just put one. So then that way, after they set up that one meeting, they won't continue to receive reminders after they've set up the meeting. The appointment length, length can be changed from 15 minutes to 30 to 45 to an hour. However long you want these appointments to be, you can change that length there. And then the slots per time is how many students you are wanting to meet with at that same time. Um, so if you want to have at least two students that can sign up for the same time, you can change that there. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that if this isn't the purpose of your appointment campaign. So um, leaving it at one slot per time frame um, is great. And then there's a box at the bottom that says allow scheduling over courses. You want to leave that unchecked. You do not want students to be able to schedule meetings with you when they have class. Um, unless the, you know, the professor just happens to cancel that day, that's something that they would have to let you know, but you definitely don't want to give them the option to be able to schedule meetings during their class time and Navigate knows all their class schedules, so it will not let them do that um, unless you check that box. So moving on. Now you're going to want to add students to the campaign. Um, so there's two, two ways to add students. So you can add your assigned students. So if you want to do, you know, just your advisees, just the students that you work with that are assigned to you for whatever your role is, you can add just those students. Um, if you're looking for a different group of students that you want to meet with, or maybe you have a list of students that um, you're wanting to have in this campaign, then you would use the advanced search option and you can add in the name of your list um, or you can add in, um, you can use some of the search tools um, and search for certain types of students that you're wanting to meet with. So. Either of those options work. You just have to um, just know the purpose of your campaign and who you're wanting to include in this campaign. Once you do add the students that uh, you're wanting in this in this campaign, um, it's going to show a list of their names and it's going to ask you to review the students. So let's say um, a few of these students have already met with you and you don't need them to, to continue to do this meeting. Um, then you can check their, the box next to their name and then hit actions and then remove selected users. Um, so that is going to remove them from the campaign list. So they're not going to get a ton of emails saying, 
um, you know, hey, I need you to meet with me if they've already met with you or if you don't want them to be included in this campaign. So great tool. Um, next, it's going to ask you to add an organizer, so adding staff to the campaign. So if you work in a building with another person that uses Navigate for the same reasons that you're using Navigate, their name may pop up in this area, and you want to make sure that you only select your name as the organizer of the campaign. Um, like unless you're, you know, unless you are, unless there's two advisors and y'all are double teaming, um, advising students for the next semester, then you would add both of your names to this campaign. If that's not the case, then you would only check the box next to your name. Um, so that's just keeping it to where students are only setting up meetings with you and not other people once they get the email to set up a meeting. And then the next thing is going to be composing the message. So you have the ability to change the subject line of the message. Um, I would definitely recommend changing it to something more appealing than schedule a student success appointment. I mean, with this, it's very straightforward, but if you wanted to say something else, you can definitely change that. Um, and then changing the actual like subject and body um, of the message. So it's gonna start with that big bold, please schedule your su student success appointment, which you can change that as well. Um, so anything in that text box, you can add more things, you can add hyperlinks, bullet point lists of maybe something you want the students to bring with them to the meeting um, or something you want them to do before the meeting, all that stuff you can add in to that area. And then um, down at the bottom where it says add attachment, you can choose to add a file um, to your meeting. So whatever sort of um, just additional information that you may want the students to have, um, you can attach that file down there. Um, once you do that, it's going to show you a preview of what your email is going to look like when the student receives it. Um, so it's going to have the Avala banner at the top and it's going to have a Navigate banner at the bottom. And then that's your message and it has a link for them to schedule an appointment and then um, they can log into Navigate. That's separate at the very bottom, but for them to schedule an appointment, they'll have to log into Navigate anyway. So that's the preview of your message. And then once you've gotten through all of that, um, it's gonna take you to the confirmation page. So it's basically a review like, okay, we, we had the student success care unit, the services Casey scholars check in, start date is, is the fourth, end date is the 18th, it's 15 minute meetings. Um, I'm gonna receive an email reminder for the meetings. The student is gonna receive an email and a text message reminder for the meeting. I had 16 students included that I'm sending this campaign to. There's only one organizer, which is myself. So this, this is really just giving you an overview of everything you just set up. So definitely take a look at this page before you send it to make sure that you have everything set up that you need to. And at any point in time, if you're needing to um, stop this campaign and, and save it and go do something else and come back, you can hit that save and exit button down at the bottom and then come back to the campaign later to finish it and finally send it out. Um, if you're ready to go, everything looks good, you can hit that blue send button at the bottom and then it'll send an email to the students saying, hey, please set up, you know, whatever appointment that you've uh, just set up in the campaign. Um, and then also when they log into Navigate, there's going to be a yellow banner at the top of their student profile that says, um, so-and-so would like for you to schedule an appointment with them by this date, please click here to schedule that meeting. Um, so they're going to get a reminder in two places, via email and when they log into Navigate. And then after you send it, like I was saying earlier, you do have the ability to look at your stats. Um, so I would say, you know, give it a couple of days for students to have time to go in and find a day and time to meet with you. And then once they start getting going, um, then you can send or you can see the appointments that have been made. You can see the reports that have been created, the attendance um, of the appointments that were made. Um, and then there's also a cool feature where you can just resend the email to students once you send the campaign um, and to go from there. So if students aren't, you know, they're not setting up meetings with you like you, like you hope they would, um, then you can definitely resend the email to students so they know um, to go ahead and set up that meeting. Um, so over here, that's where you're able to see that. So you can see the appointments that have been made so far, appointments that have not been made so far, um, your reports created is where you uh, have typed in the notes after you've met with the student. So that just gives you like an overview of everyone you've met with and what notes that you've had so far with them. And then eligible, eligible appointments, that fourth tab. So that's if a student goes into Navigate and they set up a meeting with you, but it's not the link that you sent them in an email. And then it's not the link that's in the big banner on their profile. They just set it up 
um, I guess, you know, quote unquote, the old fashioned way in Navigate, um, then it would show up as an eligible appointment. Like, hey, this student set up a meeting with you. It looks like they're in your campaign. Do you want to include this as part of your campaign, like statistics and stats? And then you would say yes. Um, and then for any reason, if you need to edit your campaign details, you can only edit the, um, you can't edit the name or the service or any of that, uh, since that's already, uh, it's already out there and it's already been sent to students. You can edit the students themselves. You can edit the uh, organizers. You can edit the message that you're sending out if you're wanting to resend it, um, but you just can't edit like the, the first part of the campaign where the name and the service and the locations are. Um, you can delete the campaign if, if for whatever reason, maybe you set it up wrong or you, you just don't wanna do it anymore, you can delete it. Um, and then you can export student list. Um, so that is where if you wanted to just have another record of, because it's gonna be saved here and navigate for forever. Um, but if you wanted to export that student list and, and have it in the spreadsheet form of who's made an appointment and who hasn't, then you can do that as well. Um, and then down there on the right hand side, that's just an overview of the campaign information, very similar to that confirmation page that we already saw. And that's it. That is how you set up an appointment campaign and then a couple ways to check in and see how it's going after you've already sent it out. Um, feel free to let us know if you have any questions. You can always visit our um, Avila Navigate faculty and staff training site online and it has um, best practices and other videos for training and different things of that nature. Uh, so please let us know if you have any questions and have a good day.